Andrew, what are you doing? Yeah, you working with your hat? Nathaniel, what song are we going to sing today? A joy to the world. Joy to the world? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. So we want to share the first half of a book with you today. It's called The Legend of the Candy Cane. The inspirational story of our favorite Christmas candy. It's written by Lori Wahlberg and the pictures are by James Bernardin. Bernardin. One dreary evening in the depths of November, a stranger rode into town. He stopped his horse in front of a lonely storefront. The windows were boarded shut and the doors locked fast. But the man looked at it, smiled, and said, It will do. All through the great short days and the long dark nights of November, the man worked. The townspeople could hear a faint pom-pom-pom of his hammer and snish-snish-snish of his saw. They could smell the sweet, clean scent of new lumber and the deeply deep, oily smell of new paint. But no one knew who the man was or what he was doing. The mayor hoped he was a doctor to heal his illness. The young wives hoped he was a tailor to make beautiful dresses. The farmers hoped he was a trader to exchange their grain for goods. But the children had the strongest, deepest wish of all, a wish they did not tell their parents, a deep, quiet, secret wish that none of them said out loud. No one spoke to the man. No one asked if he needed help. They just waited and watched and wondered and wished. But one small girl watched and wondered, waited and wished longer than she could stand. And one snowy day, she knocked at the stranger's door. Hello, she said. My name is Lucy. Do you need some help? The man smiled warmly and nodded. Then he opened the door and Lucy stepped inside. A long counter ran down the side of the room. Bare shelves filled the opposite walls. In the back were dozens and dozens of barrels and crates. Could you help me unpack, the man asked. Lucy's heart sank at the sight of all the boxes. What if they were only barrels of nails and bags of flour? But she removed her dripping boots and her hunger coat on a peg. On stocking feet, she crossed that rough wooden floor and knelt beside a crate. Please open it, the man urged. Slowly, Lucy put her hand into the box and pulled out an object wrapped in tissue. Round and heavy, it almost slipped through her fingers. Lucy trembled a little as she unwrapped it. It was a glass jar. Lucy gave the man a puzzled look. Go on, his nod said. So she unpacked another glass jar, and another, and another, until she was completely surrounded by jars of all shapes and sizes. Tall and thin, round and squat, jars with lids and jars without. Now, the man said, for something to put inside. And he pulled over a huge crate, stamped with a strange word. Do you remember what the word was, Nathaniel? Connection. That's very... Confection. That's right. That's right. Do you remember what that word meant? Yeah. What does confections mean? Do you remember? It means that there's... What's in the box? Candy. Oh, you're right. As Lily unpacked, her eyes lit up. It was candy. Her favorite candy, gumdrops. Try some, the man said. She popped one in her mouth. Now she could hardly unwrap fast enough. Peppermint sticks, taffy, lollipops, chewing gum. Wide-eyed, she looked at the man. We wished, Lucy said. Yes, I know, said the man. And here it is. Welcome to Sunnyman's Con Candy Store. I am John Sunnyman. Hi. Thank you for joining us for our song and story today. We hope you have a great day. We hope you have a great day. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Come back again. We'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Can you wave, guys? Wait, bye. Did the steering wheel come off? Okay, we'll fix it. Bye, we'll see you tomorrow.